Alright, so um, I just got this in. It's the uh, MCM Cognac, the brown colored jacket. Now I had the white one and now I got the red one. This is the uh, most popular color and the most um, expensive color. I got this at the Beverly Hills MCM. You can see online that it is completely sold out. If you look for the Cognac uh, ja uh, Vecetto's leather rider jacket from MCM um this one he uh the guy um I think, yeah it was Joshua he told me that this color never goes on sale it's the most popular color and this is the most iconic one and um it doesn't go on sale so basically i got this for 2000 something dollars for this jacket um just like the white one just a different color um i believe it's the same material um, it's kind of hard to video this, but I'm going to try to do, uh, get a close-up as the best as I could. Um, it came with the little um, cover for the jacket, as you can see in the back. I'm not going to pay too much attention to that because that's just, you know, just a regular cover with a clear uh, see-through thing on there. And then you can see it comes with the MCM hanger. It came with that. And that's basically all it came with besides the receipt and the tag that I showed you before. And which I'm going to show you right now, which I left inside the jacket. Um, so the only thing it came with was this and a couple of receipts. So I'm going to show you um, the amount right here. Oops, let me get the other one. Let's see. My bad. I think I dropped it. Where's the other receipt? Oh, there it is. Okay, so here's the receipt. Got it at the Beverly Hills Center. And one rider jacket. $2,000 and $2,069.55. Alright, that's how much I paid for this jacket. Um, it's brand new, but, you know, like... I, I like it um, 100%, but there's few things that I noticed that... Um, it, it must have been, you know, in storage for a little bit because, as you can see like the the metal part right here is not shiny it has like some marks on it so maybe some people tried it on i don't know but anyways let's take a slow i mean a a, a close-up look it's just like the other one this is the um leather jacket um as you can see this time i got a medium instead of large i'm five six um 140 something pounds and basically for some reason on these riders jacket the um i don't know if i could show you but the as you can see the arm is longer than the um tip the bottom of the jacket it's about this much let's see i would say about this much longer than the um the bottom of the jacket from the middle and for my arms i had see where i got the zipper i had to fold it up to here like let's just say about this much about like a, about inch and a half maybe fold it in and then it comes up to my wrist so if they would have cut maybe this much down it would have went up to my it would have went right here but as of right now it basically goes up to my knuckles um just same thing got the zipper all the way around it got a couple of fake pockets like that one's a fake pocket these two on the sides are real um, I mean this one here on the side is real this right here is a fake pocket if you want to see it I'll open it up for you right there it's a fake pocket doesn't open up to nothing it just shows that lining if you want to look at close up of the zippers all the zippers look like this it has this MCM logo on it MCM on the side nothing else right there can't show the inside it's kind of let me see if I can show the inside of this zipper on the interior. Doesn't say nothing. All right, and on the interior of the jacket, it has the MCM logo, of course, and then it has the tag, which shows you it's a medium, 100% lamb leather lining, 52%, 48% cotton. It says made in Italy. Take it to professional leather cleaning only. Don't dry clean it, wash, or any of that other BS. Um, 
I think my other jacket was made in Japan. I'm not, I don't remember. Um, that's that. And then on the back, it does have the shoulders. And all these things with the little buttons on it, all got like a little button that you can take off and on. Um, there's the zipper, and I'm going to show you the back. This is what the back looks like. Right there. And these aren't like the old style ones that have the belt. I actually like the older style ones which don't sell anymore. But once I got the belt that runs through the front. But you know this is still okay. This is cool. Um, I, I like it. Um, try to turn the jacket over to the front a little bit. To let you guys take a full look at it. Um, that's the jacket right there. And... The cognac color, as you can see, it zips up from here. Like I said, if you're about 5'6", um, this fits me, I wouldn't say snug tight, a little bit of room so somebody um, that's taller than me could still fit it. But 5'6", if you want, if you don't want to look like a, I don't know, like one of them little, uh, like super tight, you know, tight fitting type because i'm not like that um little bit you know baggy um not too baggy if you want to go with baggy you want to hit the large but if you want to hit you know make it look nice um not too baggy and especially not too tight because i'm not with that um you want to go with a medium um i would say if you're like six foot or something you know definitely go with the large um anything you know seven foot or whatever go you know go with the extra large or if you if you like one of them big boys you know go with the large i'm about 140 pounds and this uh i could zip up the zipper all the way like this and still have some room in there so just take uh take knowledge in that and that's what it looks like i'm gonna show you one more time up close right there and for those of you that's buying online, um, the white one that I got, the monogram, it looked black on the pictures and everything, but it was blue. This one is actually, it's brown and it is black. Definitely blackish monogram here, so there's no confusion in that. Um, not like super black black. It's kind of like faded, a little bit fady black, but it's still black. But the guy told me that's how it turns out on this lamb leather skin. Um, that this jacket is on like just th that's just how the colors come out like that um, as far as the um, The look right now was as I'm looking over the camera It looks kind of like nice and glossy with the light and everything like that, but if you look at it in real life, it's more of a um, toned down like clayish color. It's not so glossy uh, um, Up front it's more like a toned down like brown uh clayish color um so you know the light's kind of fooling you right now but that's what the jacket looks like as far as the um the bags i don't really have a bag on me right now the color is a little bit different from like the bags and the belts and stuff like that obviously i think they're made from different kind of material so if you're trying to match 100% exact Zach, it's not going to match. Same thing with all the other leather jackets. Um, they just, the colors come out different on the lambskin. So if you have any questions or comments or if you want to see more of this jacket or if you want to see some, uh, you want me to get the belt to see how good it matches, let me know. Um, here, I'll show you the white hat, bucket hat that I got. Um, it's not like all the the material from the bags and the jacket they're not the same material as you can see and the leather like this is more of the what they put on the the belts this is a jacket <coughs> excuse me damn all that dust okay so like i said if you have any questions or comments leave them below i'll be happy to answer them